looks good. Good morning guys and welcome to the Cameron Highlands. So today I have some travel friends. Say hello guys. Hello so we got guys. two Brits and a Belgium and me, the Aussie. So we are doing one of the hiking trails today. So there's up to 14 hiking trails around these, um, around Cameron Highlands. But the most popular one to do is Trail 10 and that sort of leads on to Trail 6. So at the moment, <laughs> it doesn't really seem much of a trail, but it will be shortly coming on to the tea plantation. So let's do this. What the heck are you doing here, buddy? Wow. Oh, is that looking a bit vicious? <laughs> I'm gonna get away from him. <laughs> Come on, mate, move! We got a new tour guide. It's a cat. <laughs> Where are we going, mate? Come on, guys, this way. Let's go. Follow me. Oh, shit. <laughs> we just stepped on him. Oh, poor little fella. He doesn't know where to go. So we've just reached the highest point of this trek. So this is six, about 1600 meters high right now. We got a pretty amazing view around us and I think it was only like 50 minutes to get to the top, but it was a long, sweaty hike. they're all about safety on this track. They've got <laughs> you just... there is no stepping down, you just slide down. <laughs> oh, <did you? laughs> Alright, your guys turn. Alright, so we have now reached to the start of track six, but we're just going through bush at the moment and hopefully this leads to somewhere and we're not going the wrong way. Alright, so you don't exactly need proper hiking shoes on this trail, but if you have them, definitely bring them because going down this hill, it is the steepest, slipperiest, muddy track 
and there's been many times where we've just fallen straight on our ass. <laughs> and if it if you're around this area like during the rain time, then be prepared for a lot of mud and a lot of slipping. <laughs> just take out the bush. That's how you take it safe. You just shimmy down and slide. <laughs> oh my god, that's a thorny tree right there. Almost grabbed yeah. onto it. <laughs> that would have hurt. How you going up there, mate? Taking it safe. <laughs> what do I do now? Just slide into my hands. <laughs> and they're doing massive things. Look at him go. You. Oh, oh, leap of faith. My guy's abseiling. All right, so now we've come to the point where it gets so steep, they actually have a rope here. So. Rope set to the man. At least there's some on, sort of safety. <laughs> oh man. Just gotta, just gotta shimmy down. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Do not fall on me. Whoa. Oh my god, that was a big drop. Oh, god. oh. oh that was a big this drop off right there. Okay. Now, this is where the shoes start to get muddy. Alright, so after about eight kilometers of trekking through those sketchy tracks, we finally come to the start of the tea plantation. So we're actually going straight through the middle of it at the moment. I'm not too sure how long this track goes for, but these tea plantations are so amazing. Of course, you can't come to Cameron Valley Tea Plantation without trying their nice fresh tea. And lucky for us, they got a place right at the top of the hill where you can get your own fresh brewed tea. Let's try. All right, so once you finish the track 10 and 6, you actually just come out to the end of the road. And I've been told by the guy at the hostel, he says, yeah, once you get to the road, you can actually just hitchhike back. Like, it's pretty common for people just to hitchhike back. So, I guess we'll give it a try. What do you reckon, guys? Yeah. We'll do it. Might get picked up by a creek. Might not. All right, guys, let's do this. Oh, no, you're a taxi. <laughs> taxi drivers don't pick us up. Please pick us up. Ah, oh, no, another taxi. Hey, pick us up. Oh, she's got it. Nah. This might be a bit harder than we thought. Huh? Everyone look hot. <laughs> We're desperate. Oh, you got space in your car. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we'll jump on the roof, mate. <laughs> All right, back to munching on one of my favorite fruits throughout Asia is the mango steam. These are the best things I've ever had. So we haven't really had much luck hitchhiking. Um, apparently, we thought it was gonna be easier, but it's not. 
So we've just decided to hike all the way back to the hostel. I think we've got like an hour till we get there. We've done it. We've got a ride. Is it free though? That's the question. Let's go, man. Yeah. Close the door. There you go. And we're off. Well, that saves time walking. Yeah, I think oh, you've locked, locked it. Locked. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh. Cheers, man. Thank Thanks. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, what an absolute legend. <laughs> that literally saves so much time walking back. Yeah, shall we have lunch? Right, guys, if you're ever in Malaysia, you have to try the Indian food they have here because look at the proportion I got here. 850 ringgit, and I get all of this just for me. <laughs> this is going to be good. Yum. <laughs> Tell you what, I am absolutely stuffed after that meal. Every single <laughs> Indian meal I get throughout Malaysia, I just like go to food coma. <laughs> I'm just absolutely dead. But it has been an amazing day today, guys. Like that tea plantation was just, the drone shots were some of the best drone shots I've gotten throughout Malaysia now. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and also, as I said before, there is up to 14 trails to do around um, Cameron Highlands, but just check into those trails that you're gonna do because I heard some of them you actually cannot go along. I think trail 12, um, that's permanently closed. And there's another one, trail nine. <laughs> Apparently, if you walk along that one, you'll most likely get robbed. So just don't do trail nine. <laughs> Um, I'm also staying at a hostel here. It's called the Traveller's Bunker Hostel. I highly recommend this place. It is a great hostel to meet people. As I said, like I've met that awesome group of people today. Thanks for watching guys. Follow your dreams. Skate the camera zone. And I will see you in another adventure in Malaysia. Woo!